Kanal Chandra is a reading for Twin Flame. So what you guys can expect for the next 10 days. A Twin Flame collective reading. The first row is going to be for the Divine Feminine. That's the Runner. So the Chaser. Uh, the second row is going to be for the Divine Masculine. That's the Runner. And the last is going to be the Outcome. Okay. And the Mutual Energy. So yeah. Let's start. Let's see your current energy. What's the current energy for the Divine Feminine? The current energy of the Divine Feminine. How is the Divine Feminine currently feeling? And what they are possibly going through? For many of you, we have uh, the Tower and Eight of Cups. So you guys are walking away from something that was very, very painful. After a strong awakening with the Judgment card and a strong awareness, you guys have finally decided to to break the norms, to 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 break the 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 process of uh, thinking you used to do and continue walking away from this this painful connection okay you, you guys might have decided that some of you with the six of wands are moving towards some someone new in your life a new soulmate possibly okay or a new connection possibly uh, for some of you it's a younger fire sign okay aries leo sagittarius uh, for some of you it's a scorpio uh, pisces cancer i see i sense a strong aries to be very honest so let's start your reading now. That was your current energy. So you guys are walking away from this connection after th thinking a lot, after coming to a awareness, after awakening, after a lot of lessons, and you're moving towards something new in your life. Okay, with the judgment card, you have finally made that decision of uh, ending the waiting game and moving forward in your life. Okay, with Queen of Pentacles and Seven of uh, Wands, yes, you still have love for them. Uh, you do love them, but you are blocking them now okay you are moving away from them you do not want anything to do with them now okay but the love is still there to be very honest with you okay with the queen of pentacles you still still thought that this person was the one for you and they will all always be the one that will never change but that will not stop you from moving forward in life okay with ten of wands, you are uh, you are dropping the burdens you are dropping the the uh, the, the painful uh, phase you went through uh, you are not wanting to uh, be in, in more drama in, in your life with five of wands. You do not want to be a part of a third party anymore. You are moving forward in life with the page of wands and knight of wands. Okay. So I see this very clear for many, many of you. Yes, you're still thinking about them, but you do not want to stay there. Okay. You, you still care about them. You still think about them, but you won't stay there. Okay. So yeah, let's start your reading. How's the divine of family? Oh. Possibly moving forward. What what are their real uh, intentions and how is it uh, that even feminine is moving forward with life? We got Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. For some of you, there is either a Earth sign, Water sign. I also see Fire and Water being strong. Earth being the third component. I also see uh, you guys wanting to get married now, wanting to get settled now, wanting to uh, meet a partner where there is peace, where there is harmony, where, where there is equal give and take, where there is balance. Okay, and you want to be, uh, you want to uh, have a true connection now. You do not want to be a part of something that seems one sided. It is real, but it seems one sided. Okay, so yes. <clears throat> With the Hierophant card, you are very much thinking about getting married now. You are not wanting to stay stuck to someone that you feel you have no future with, okay? Even though you may love this person, you are, you are kind of walking away from them, okay? So yeah, let's start. With Six of Cups and the High Priestess, you still think about them, you still think about the past person, but your intuition is telling you to move forward. You are being very secretive. You are not wanting to tell your, your, your person, your to inflame that you're walking away or, or thinking of moving on from them. You are keeping it a secret. You're keeping it to yourself. There are still days you think about them. You still uh, miss them. But that will that won't stop you from moving forward in life. Okay. First card we, card we got for you is the star card. So right now you are healing. You're focused on healing. You're focused on moving forward. You're focused on living in the present. With three of wands, you are no longer going to be waiting for them. You're moving forward regardless. With seven of swords, again, I feel this is your energy of uh, trying to, you know, ignore them and trying to sneak away with, with, without letting them know uh, or, or without informing them. You're trying to get away from them. 
uh, some of you are still finding it difficult to move on from them with a chariot in the reverse. You're finding it I impossible to move on, but your intention is to get away from them. Right now, you're totally focused on healing. You're focused on being in the present. You are not, uh, you know, trying to be in a dreamy place. You're trying to be in a reality now, okay? And trying to heal yourself from what you went through. With three of uh, wands, I no longer feel you guys are waiting for them. You guys have finally decided on, on moving forward. You guys are finding it tough, but you are very persistent and moving forward okay you 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 are wanting to be with someone who you can get married with okay who you can have a future with you are no longer interested in a one sided relationship now okay or that seems one sided it's not one sided but it seems one sided okay uh, so how how is the divine masculine coming towards the divine feminine how is the divine masculine coming towards the divine feminine how is the rama coming towards the chaser their intention their feeling what action are they taking towards the divine feminine Hierophant. So right now, I believe for many of them, they are going through the self-awareness, self-awakening process. Uh, there is, uh, there is this. Uh, they are going through a lot of lessons of self-growth. You know, knowing their worth, knowing their value, knowing what they really want. Okay. With Knight of Wands, I do believe this person is coming towards you. With the World card, there there is a long distance. There is a long uh, gap between the two of you. This could be geographical. This could be emotional. This could be physical. With the high priestess, their intuition is leading them towards you, okay? Their intention is to manifest you back in their life. So I do believe with the world card, you know, they they, they kind of sense this separation with you, okay? And they are, they also want to, want you to keep it, keep it a secret. But their intention is to, is to manifest you now. They, they are very much wanting to manifest you back in their life, okay? So I do sense that there is no communication happening because I did not see any cards of communication with the world card i definitely feel there is a separation going on uh, you know you guys are not knowing what's happening in each each other's life some of for some of you or uh, like 50 percent of you your partner is married they are with someone else they are wanting to move towards you uh, this person could be living in, in in another state in another country in another continent altogether <clears throat> There is definitely a geographical distance, if not emotional distance, okay? So, there is a need for many, many of you, uh, you know, to to cut contact with them. You know, they would never uh, understand your true value or what, what you mean to them if you do not cut contact with them. You know, there is a need for you to completely cut contact, you know, get your energy back, revive yourself because, you know, you are always available to them. No matter what, one message and you're always there. This has always been the case. So right now, I feel there's a strong need for you to end a cycle in your life, to move forward in life. There is a strong need. I'm getting a strong message for the divine feminine to move forward regardless Okay. I know you're finding it tough to completely walk away from them. It's impossible. But energetically, energetically you should be moving. Okay, If not emotionally, energetically, you should be moving. You know, there's this need for you to end uh, uh, end this toxic uh, you know uh, connection it's it's not toxic it's 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 very beautiful connection but you know there's always this stage going off on you being the chaser them them being the runner right now there is zero uh, stability between the two of you okay i feel also for some of you 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 guys are not doing well financially money is your prime concern now not them okay what action are they taking towards you? What action does the runner? What, what action does the runner taking towards uh, the the chaser? What action is the runner taking towards the chaser? One card for the divine masculine's action towards the uh, divine feminine. They are very much stalking you, okay? Right now, they are very much stalking you. They are defensive, but they are stalking you, okay? I do believe the, their ego and pride is stopping them from moving towards you or being open to you. But in their heart, they know that you are the one. They have not found a connection that can, uh, you know, compare to the connection you have with them. But their ego and pride and their practical mind is stopping them from making a move towards you. Right now, my advice to you would be to keep moving forward okay if not emotionally energetically you should be moving forward they should understand what your true value is without this separation they'll never understand what you really mean to them or what you are to them okay so what's the outcome going to be like for the divine feminine and the divine masculine's connection the 
got the ten of swords here. So things are ending. Uh, you are ending things with them. I believe this is you that's want, wanting to end things with them. With Ace of Pentacles, even after ending, uh, I believe you guys are wanting to start something new in your life after ending. Sorry. With Six of Wands, you are definitely moving forward in 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 your life. You are trying to move forward. With Page of Wands, you are being optimistic. You are trying to stay open towards new possibilities. Okay. Uh, with justice card right now you are wanting to do justice to your own life you want balance you want peace you want harmony you want happiness in your life okay you want someone that can be there with you and that you shouldn't be begging them for attention or for love or for emotional support or to be there with you okay this person you love them but it always seemed one sided okay so uh, according to them i believe after things ending between the, the two of you i do believe they they will uh, want to offer you something they will want your attention there will be uh, you know uh, exchange of messages happening exchange uh, uh, maybe even a phone call okay i see that happening i see this person wanting to make a message you okay but i feel you guys are uh, persistent on moving forward in in your life you want to be with someone who you can get married with or you can have a future with you still love the past person you still love your twin flame but that would not stop you from moving forward finally you have learned the lesson that Uh, you know like uh, you know you can still love them yet move forward in your life okay so i believe energetically you guys are moving forward with queen of swords you are making the practical decision you have been through a lot a lot i repeat okay with six of swords and queen of swords you are making the practical decision the the wise decision of staying away and moving towards something better and staying away from this toxic energy okay i do not have anything against the twin flame community i am in my own twin flame journey and i have been through uh, uh, going through it for the past 18 uh, months 2 years okay so i know what you guys are going through the secret messages uh, from your divine masculine towards you are they want to tell you that they are at crossroads they have another choice besides you you should be knowing that they have another person besides you the second card is their pride and ego is stopping them from moving towards you and they are very very practical mindset you think emotionally whereas this person thinks practically and practically to them this connection doesn't make sense even though they feel for you emotionally their practical mind tells them to stay away from you okay and the last card is surrender so they do want to surrender to the situation but this will take them their own time but i do see them wanting wanting to reach out to you wanting to communicate with you wanting to start a conversation with you but their pride and ego has been stopping them uh, you know till now okay so the, the two advice cards we got for you that's the divine feminine are free yourself and release your ex okay this these are the two cards that, that i've got for you this are my advice cards for you and the last uh, two cards we have for the divine uh, family now i focus very much on, on on the divine family and the less on the divine masculine i will let you know everything that's going on in their life but my reading is totally based on a divine family that's the chaser the first card we got for you is knight okay be brave and honest do the right thing do the practical thing be brave enough to to do the right thing even though it's tough and it's very painful for you to cut this person out, out from your life you will have to do something that's practical and that's needed in in your life okay and travel uh, move in a new direction right now is a time for you to take a new path to move in another direction so the, my readings to you are very realistic i do speak the truth regardless of what you feel okay So if you could connect with this reading darling do hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you could not connect with my reading then I'm I I'm sorry this wasn't for you uh do uh, subscribe to my channel uh, for for the weekly readings and if you really like my reading please do uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section for those all who want to get a personal reading with me for your twin flames to know where this is going or if this could ever lead to something then do reach me out on my email uh i do a 20 minutes uh, reading and a uh, advice cards for you so i do guide you guys so if you do want a reading from me do reach me out on my email it's given below in the description section thank you so much and i hope you have a great